I was kind of a techie guy, you know, you, you, you grew up doing math the whole time. And so I was a kind of techie then. I wanted to, to, to work in oil and gas, but I wanted to have the techie, the, the engineering type background. And obviously Hal Burton had an awful lot of opportunities for that kind of career to progress. At the time when I joined, it was more from the travel and the opportunities in terms of seeing different places, going different places. The expectation of certain people when they travel is maybe the, the kind of vacation spots. And of course, oil and gas typically aren't found in those kind of spots. Having said that, they're, they're just experiencing the cultures and meeting different people from different, I mean, just vastly different backgrounds all over the world uh, is something that really is attractive to me. I worked in Nigeria for two and a half years and, and just going and, and understanding uh, how the people are in Nigeria and seeing things that I never really imagined seeing at first hand at least. And then you're thrown into the jungle in West Africa and uh, you, you go out to a rig and it ain't, it, it's not as well organized. You have to really fend for yourself a lot um, and then still perform the same technical type activity that you're used to performing when a lot of stuff is provided for you. And you have to take care of it all yourself. So you're really very much in charge. You get a lot of responsibilities in those kind of environments very early, which I really loved. I mean, you, you very much progress faster in that kind of environment than you do in a more kind of uh, supporting environment, if you want to say that. When I'm looking for a person to bring into Halliburton, whether it's in my group or somewhere else, I, I, want, I want someone that's keen to learn, that is open and willing to learn and is game for challenges. A challenge being thrown into the middle of the desert in the Middle East and, and, and just taking something and running with it. I think there's an, there's an onus on the individual to, to go after stuff. And, and I think in a company like Halliburton, you have the opportunity to go after stuff. You know, big time. There's a whole range of different disciplines you can find within Halliburton and so there's almost like this internal career path or job market within Halliburton itself and so there's loads of stuff and, you know it's kind of like why would you not want to choose something like that. The other benefit obviously is on a, on a personal level is the, uh, the scope, the, the scope for meeting people from diverse backgrounds which uh, is, is probably pretty close to being unparalleled anywhere else. Just going to different countries, meeting people, their cultures, getting used to it. And if you're interested in that, then Halliburton's a great place to do that and, and get paid for it, you know. So what else do you want? <laughs> Hi, my name is Andy Flowers. I've been at Halliburton 24 years. I went to school at University of Sussex in England and I got a master's from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. I work in Houston, Texas and my job is manager of real-time operations and commercial IT.